You have to do your self-work. I have to do mine. That is what is going to shift this world for the better. Hey guys, I'm Jonathan White. I'm here to help you master your sexual energy so you can magnetize your ideal life. Make sure you grab my free ejaculation control guide. There's a link in the video description below. So we are living in a very intense time. There's no denying it. Uh, 2020 has been a very transformational year and a very challenging time for a lot of people. You know, what is happening is things are changing at a very rapid rate. And within the collective psyche, certain issues are emerging, you know, certain shadows are emerging to be addressed. We've seen this collective fear of death come up earlier this year, right, with the the coronavirus pandemic. And just in this past week, it's been played out just how apparent a lot of our issues of hatred and prejudice are still playing out in the world. You know, all these old, old patterns are still being held onto by some people. So this is really a chance for us to realize that we've come a long way as a species, but we still have a lot of inner work to do. And that we also have the opportunity to completely shift our paradigm and to truly create a world worth living in. But this requires all of us to do our own inner work. You know, we can't get rid of of uh, hatred. We can't get rid of fear and racism by, you know, making laws against it. You know, it's like, it's just not going to work. The change has to come within each and every one of us. You know, you have to do your inner work. I have to do my inner work. So we all have these ancestral patterns that we're carrying around with us, right? What's well, an ancestral pattern? Part of the role you took on, you know, sort of part of the work that you took on into being born in this world is, is that you literally took on a lot of your uh, your parents' issues, your ancestors' issues, their incompletions, right? They all were seeking out these certain things they wanted to accomplish in their lifetimes and maybe they didn't finish some things and that kind of gets passed down the blood line. You know, blood carries information, it carries gene, right? We literally have this DNA within us, our ancestors' DNA. We have their fears, we have their limitations, we have their hatreds and things like that. So it's important to realize that you have an opportunity to end these things, to bring these things to completion and to not keep playing out the old hatreds, the old racism, the old fears and limitations that your ancestors handed down to you. We have the power to stop this. And this is what is truly going to save this world. This is what is truly going to create a massive shift is each and every one of us doing the self-work, meditating, looking within, realizing, oh, how am I playing out these patterns of, of hatred? These patterns that really aren't doing any good. You know, these patterns are only contributing to more violence, to more imbalance in this world. It takes a serious man to look into himself and to see these things for what they are and to make the decision, you know what? I'm not going to act out on these things anymore. I see this pattern emerging and I know that it is not mine and I choose not to act on it. And before you know it, these patterns are gone. You've literally cleared your bloodline. You've cleared that line of issues that was handed down, father to son, father to son, maybe thousands of years, who knows? And this is really what the sexual kung fu work is all about. Because to tap into your sexual energy, this is the most powerful, the most transformative work possible, is tapping into your sexual energy. Because this has been one of the main traumas, one of the biggest traumas in our human species is, is this trauma around sexuality, an inability to connect with our sexuality, an inability to express it in a way that's truly nourishing for us. And all these patterns in our world, you know, violence, hatred, racism, fears, these are all just symptoms of much deeper rooted issues that we have as a collective. And what I've found to be one of the most effective ways of dealing with these things is working with your sexual energy because it is literally the root of your entire being. You know, physically, the genitals are the root of the entire body, so to speak, and the core endocrine glands, right? This is our most primal aspect of experience. At the same time, it's also a very expanded level of experience as all. Well. Sexual energy evolves into spiritual connection when you truly learn to tap into it and evolve it. So the sexual kung fu approach, it's much, much more holistic than just working with sex, working with, you know, direct sexual work. We start by clearing out these old patterns, clearing out negative emotions. First, you're just your immediate negative emotions, then going into deeper levels of your being, deeper levels into your psyche, finding out what am I holding on to? What's been handed down to me from my father, from my mother, from my grandfather, my grandmother, maybe, you know, 10 generations ago, what am I carrying on to? and having the tools to release them, you know? And I use different tools such as meditation, breath work, Qigong practices to really go into your energy body, look at these patterns and remove them. So that's the foundation of all the work because you have to clear things out before you can build on them. It's like if you have a garden, you need to take out the weeds first if you wanna plant flowers. So we go in, we clear out all this bullshit and that in itself is incredibly powerful work. You know, if everyone did this alone, 
the world would be a much different place. Uh, but there's much more to it than that even. You know, we start to build new patterns. We start to unlock the energy channels of the body, create these new patterns of expressing our energy. You know, most people just scatter their energy out into the outside world around them. And what we do in sexual kung fu practice is we learn to create these cycling orbital patterns of energy. For example, the microcosmic orbit, it, it starts the perineum, it travels up the back of the spine, comes down the front of the body. It's a loop, it's a pathway. This trains your energy to loop and recycle. It comes up, it expands when it's its maximum yang. Oh, time to turn to yin, it's time to relax, come back down. Loops around. This programs your energy to stay within your body. It gives you a boundary. You start to recycle your energy, so you're no longer depleted scattering out your energy into, into social media, projecting it onto women, things like that. You train your energy, right? This gives you a new pathway of expressing your sexual energy as well. You also learn to ground this energy as well, tap, sink into the earth, tap into the earth's energy to ground your sexual energy. And then from here, we have a safe foundation to begin stimulating the sexual energy itself, which is the most powerful work of all. So it completely changes your experience, your connection with sexuality and sexual energy, your experience of orgasm. You know, we all, we all live for orgasm. We all crave sex. We crave sexual connection because it's so nourishing. When you connect to another human, you transcend polarity. You know, you, you enter into unity and it's so nourishing. You create this neutral force that heals you, heals your partner. So when you have this new paradigm of sexuality, this new paradigm of sexual experience, it nourishes you to your every single cell of your being. It changes who you are. You know, this is unbelievably transformative work. And when you're radiating with this fulfillment, you're overflowing with life force. That's what we all crave is connection to life force. You know, people are trying to seek it. People feel empty because they've become disconnected, living in the city, being bombarded with stress, Wi-Fi, you know, porn. They crave this connection to life, but we've forgotten how to nourish that connection, right? So we reach out to porn, we reach out to drugs, toxic relationships, unhealthy foods. We try to fill ourselves with these things, but it's never going to work. You need that true connection to the life force. And that's what sexual Kung Fu practice, you know, Qigong, meditation, breath work. This is what it allows you to do is to gain that direct connection to the life force. You're overflowing with energy. You're fulfilled, radiating. When you are living in this pattern, again, it changes who you are. You are not going to act out of hatred. You are not going to have prejudice against people. You know, when you learn to tap into your sexual energy, it opens your heart. It opens your mind. You see, you become empathic. You see that we are all basically the same. You know, there's no reason to treat others with disrespect, you know, with hatred. You start to appreciate your fellow humans and know that we are all on this journey together. So this work is so transformational. I've been leading men through my six week course. The changes that happen are phenomenal. You know, I just finished leading a group through the course and you know, the men were sharing their, their experiences. Some of them couldn't believe how much they had transformed, you know, because again, this is much more than just working with sex. This is working with your entire being, changing who you are, changing your patterns and your way of relating to the world. Instead of trying to take something from the world, you overflow. Now you're giving back to the world. You're making the world a better place basically because you're overflowing life force. You're like a light you know, in this sometimes dark and chaotic world. And so it's amazing, you know, men of all around the world are interested in doing this work. You know, I'm, co I'm constantly connecting with men of all races, all religions, all backgrounds, and this is our common ground, our desire to improve ourselves, our desire to reclaim our inherent connection with sexual energy. And at the end of it, we become brothers. It's amazing. It really transcends boundaries in this world. And that's what this is all about. And again, this is why I'm so passionate about sexual Kung Fu, because it literally is a tool to transform who you are, become a balanced human being, a happy human being. You know, you become a better person and therefore the world becomes a better place. Because again, this is how the world must change. Each person must do their own work. You know, no one's going to come in here and like make everything happen magically, you know, make all these problems go away magically. You know, no one else is going to fix your things. It's really up to you to go within yourself, do the work and make the change happen. And that's what's going to resolve all of these conflicts, all of these prejudices, hatred that's been happening for hundreds and thousands of years. That is what is going to fix it. Every person doing their own work, resolving these issues, resolving these underlying negative patterns and choosing to release them. If everyone was to do this sort of work, the world would literally change overnight. So that's why I'm so passionate about sharing this work with you because it's completely changed who I am. It's complete. It's given me unbelievable freedom, energy, fulfillment in my life. And I'm very honored to be sharing these practices with everyone else, with all you guys, because um, I see the transformations that you go through. I see how, you know, what is originally kind of pain and imbalance in your life, you know, whether it's sexual issues, sexual frustration, porn addiction, this pain, you eventually overcome it 
and it becomes a catalyst to growth. This is alchemy. You know, you take uh, you take a bad situation, turn it into a, a blessing, a good situation, turning lead into gold, right? This is the path of alchemy. And so that is really the challenge now is can we take all of this bullshit that's happening in the world and can we turn it into something golden, to enter into a golden age of harmony, of peace and acceptance? And that is what is truly going to help us move into this state of unity consciousness, seeing that we are all the same. We're all humans. We all have the same needs. Sure, we come from different backgrounds and, you know, we can acknowledge and embrace that we come from different backgrounds, different religions, but see each other as equals. You know, understand that we all have something equally valuable to contribute to this world. And that is what is truly going to make this world a better place. So again, no law, no rule is going to change things for us. We have to do our self-work. You have to do your self-work. I have to do mine. That is what is going to shift this world for the better. So let's just do a quick little practice, you know, just sort of an affirmation, a visualization to release these patterns that are no longer serving you. So just close your eyes. Just feel your heart. Just feel your heart space. Feeling a sense of gratitude, of love, love for yourself. And just seeing that there's all these patterns that you've been given at birth. You know, your ancestors did a lot. They worked hard to give you the home that you grew up with, the family you grew up with. But they also may have given you some things that are not serving you. So just saying, thank you ancestors. I thank you for your gifts. I thank you for the strengths you have given me. And I release the hatreds. I release the fears. I release the limitations that you were unable to complete. And I choose to no longer function under these programs. And just feel yourself release that. So how simple is that? You do that every day, you know, focus consciously on releasing these patterns from your life. I guarantee you, your life is going to shift. So thank you for watching this video. If you want to begin doing this self-work yourself, check out my Qigong playlist. Check out my breathwork playlist. These have some exercises, some practices that you can directly use to go in, connect with your inner self and start to move this energy, start to clear things out, bring in fresh patterns. So that's a great resource for you to start with right away. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. What are you doing to make this world a better place? Have a great day, my friends. Mm -hmm.